something a little bit different today. I'm going to go and get in the river with the with the simplex. Uh, I don't like talking to myself when there's people driving by, but tough. anyway, check this out. Just stopped off at a, a permission, one, in fact one of my favourite permissions, and uh, got all my kit out. <laughs> Look at that, I'm on the coins already. A battered 1p. <laughs> Morning. Today is, ooh, what day is it, Tuesday. Uh, I've got the day off work. <laughs> it's a little bit warm. It's probably pushing 21, 22 already, and we're not at, like not even at 10 o'clock. I'm going to do some river detecting today, but uh, I'm just going to have a couple of hours in this field. Um, this is where I found my gold hammered. I'm obviously not going to show too much of the location. Um, I've just been chatting to the landowner and we've had a right good half hour catch up. Really nice guy, proper proper top bloke. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have a couple of hours in here and then I'm going to go and get the simplex in the river uh, when it gets a little bit too hot for me. So yeah, let's let's see what we can find. Well, this is my first signal and this looks interesting. I reckon I've got a silver coin here, but it's very, it's in a very bad shape. Yeah, you can see the leafy pattern on there. So it's gonna be a sixpence, probably Victoria. But why that's in such a bad way, I will never know. That is shocking. Yeah, it's Queen Victoria. It's a shame. <laughs> well, it's a good start. Nice faint 92. Next signal. It was a little bit of a ropey signal, but I thought I'd dig it anyway. And it's a little tombat button. Yep. That poor bugger's got a right limp. Can barely walk, bless it. Next signal. This was sort of 90s, low 90s. I've got a feeling it's going to be a broken button though. It could be a small coin. There is no air today whatsoever. The temperature is going up by by the minute. I reckon that's a small little Georgian coin. Toasted though. Must be pushing 25 degrees. I'm already dripping. Such a beautiful location this is. Uh, what we got here, this was sort of 90s. I reckon it might be a coin, you know. It's quite deep. Ah, it's a button. Another Tombat button. Yep, that's why it's a ropey signal. Next signal, this was coming in at low 90s. And I think it's gonna be a button. Unfortunately. I can't get it off. Yep. Button with the shank. Got me ice water needed on a day like today. we're we looking at 24 degrees when that gets past 25 that's it that's me gone got myself a little coin ball what number's that 85 hmm could be a coin but it might not be i can see green in there could be a button Little tiny decimal half penny look. Oh god. Nice sweet little signal that was. It's not what I'm looking for in here. This is a very similar signal. Um I had that little half penny from about there, I think. I got another little signal from there. I'm gonna do a live reveal, see what it is. About here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, it's 1p. Bloody 1p. Next signal. I'm digging, digging some dodgy, dodgy tones here, but it's, it's a button of some sort, but it literally weighs nothing. 
don't know what it's made of. I think it might even be hollow. But yeah, another bun. You know, two years ago, I found a uh, half of a papal bull seal on here. Really, really nice. Put a little picture up. And uh, I always wanted to find the other half, and I've gone over this area with a fine toothpick, but I never managed to find it. Uh, so maybe it's not here. Who knows? Um, so yeah, I'm just going to carry on. It is warm, so warm today. No papal bull seal, but at a 96, quite near the surface, but I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be a two pence. Oh, God. Love being in this shade, though. Really is a beautiful day. Next signal, can you see it? Yet another button. Finding a lot of buttons in here today. Cleared out all the big stuff, surely. I have been on here three or four times before and done a good job on it. I'm still convinced there's a gold coin in here. Next signal, perfectly formed square piece of lead. One can only imagine what that was used for. Obviously it's been it's been made like that. Possibly some sort of board game, gaming piece, something like that. Who knows? Next signal, and it's yet another button. I can't actually remember what number this was coming in at, but it was definitely a diggable. Yep. Next signal, this was coming in at a faint 90s. It was pretty deep, right from down there. I don't know what's in there, but I have seen a bit of green. So there's something copper. Oh, there we go. A big Georgian coin that is almost 100% toasted. Yep. This was another sort of 50s and 60s um, kind of signal, and again, it's a perfectly cut piece of lead, uh, probably from the same board game as the last piece, or the same purpose. I think I've found a few of these on here before, a couple of years ago, can't quite remember, but yep. Yeah. The heat is getting unbearable. This really is a hot day. English heat wave. Oh, it was horrible at work yesterday, and it will be horrible tomorrow as well. Next up we've got what looks to be yet another button. That's quite a cool one. Let me give this a little clean up and I'll be back. Yeah, it's very pretty. Not really one for buttons, but I don't mind that one. Might try and clean that up and get it in the display. Who knows? Cool. Well, your man's got chickens on his field in a little pen, nice and happy. One of them had escaped somehow. So I've just spent 15 to 20 minutes chasing it around the field, trying to catch it. Now I eventually caught it. I uh, rounded it up in between the fence and the wall, grabbed hold of it and chucked it over the fence. So that's a job well done. But man, it's, uh, it's taking its toll on me because I am absolutely dripping now. It's so hot and it's almost swim time with the simplex. But first, I have a signal. Solid 88, 89. I reckon I've got a coin ball of some descript. Yeah. You can see where it was, look. And look at this. I think we've got a half penny in there, possibly a full penny. It's a full penny, look. Has to be my boy, George V. My most found coin in the history of my detecting career, 1914. That's as much as the hall I'm going to show. There is a very nice building to the left. Next signal. It's a solid 88. We've got ourselves another George V penny. 
1916 this time. So I just dig this one, another 50s and 60s, and yet again, another one of these little square pieces of lead. Why do I find so many of these? If anyone's got any ideas, drop a comment. Well, my heart just skipped a beat. I've got a, a mid tone, uh, sort of 60s, um, and it looks like a coin, and it is kind of yellow, but it's just not shiny enough to be gold, I don't think. Oh, you absolute git. Look at that. <laughs> that is well and truly done me. 1998, some sort of foreign coin. PTAS, I don't know what that is. Oh, that has really done me. That's done me. Fool's gold. And on that note, that's me, I'm going for a swim because I'm up. Oh God, I've got ants in here. Right, I shall see you soon. In other news, I got back to my car earlier and I had a note on the windscreen. Someone's crashed into it and uh, destroyed the back of my car, which I didn't even notice when I was getting changed. Uh, so that's great, uh, but at least I left the insurance details. Right, look at this old bridge. I'm gonna get in this water and see what I can find with the simplex. Well, it's official, the simplex is underwater. This is my first signal, it's a big chunk of crap, but uh, yeah, it's my first find in the river. Uh, it's not too cold, my feet are used to it now. I want to go down there, but them kids are all there, they're going to cause a scene. The simplex is submerged into the water. I was told it could swim. Next signal out the river with the simplex. Flipping ring pull. You just can't go anywhere without finding one, can you? First coin find, brand new pound. That was waist deep in the water as well. I can't I can't do a live video because it's just too deep. I don't want my phone in my pocket, but yeah, we find a quid. I'm happy with that. Spot the simplex. It is at home in the water today. We're gonna have a walk down there, see what I can find. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been pulling some right crap out of the river. Look at all this crap. Big chunks of iron, bottle tops. I don't know what. I've had one pound twenty so far. It's lovely and nice. We're getting harassed by the horseflies. Simplex is loving it in this water. I must say it's uh, it's, it's quiet and stable. I'm really enjoying it. Simplex just swimming there in the water. I'm gonna have a little drink break, got an IPA, I'm just gonna sit in the water. Uh, it's all going well apart from the car we crashed into. Also, I've been bit on the side of the face by a bloody horse fly. It's itching like crazy. Uh, yeah, it's a funny day. Cheers. to detect, that's for sure. Quite a lot of uh, bits of rusty crud, bottle tops. But, nice and cool, and that's the main thing today. It's about 27 degrees. Look at 
my poor car. My poor car. I'm going to the pub for a pint. Strange day that was.